he left me one, two, three times, and then all of a sudden, he want to come back home. Do you find it easy to get women to finance your lifestyle? No, it's not. Not it's... easy at all. But you do do it. Yeah, I do do yeah, it. It's but... right, Mr. Uh... A family member introduced Charlize and Brian 22 years ago, and they discovered they shared a nasty habit of drugs and alcohol. The couple eventually got sober, but after 20 years of marriage, they agree the thrill is gone. Now, why do you leave? There were other women. I am done. Mr. Darby is not only a trip, he's a journey. Did you leave to go to an N.A. meeting on Valentine's Day and not come back for two weeks? 20 years of marriage comes to an end. I go to work, work two, work, work three jobs, and I come home, either he's there playing games still, or he's not there at all, because he's running the street and he's going to the club. Today on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Charlize Darby and Brian Darby, Mr. and Mrs. Darby. You have been married for 20 years. You do not, however, want to be married anymore. You don't have any children together, although you do have children from previous relationships. Uh, you have a financial matter you would like me to resolve. However, before I get to that, I'm going to start with you, Mrs. Darby. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why you want to end a 20-year marriage here today? Well, Your Honor, 20 years with Ryan Darby has been a real journey. Okay. He's a hermit. He's on a laptop constantly. The laptop gets more play than me. <laughs> you know, and, and, and then if it wasn't the laptop, it was the video games. And then when football season came, I needed cleats and a helmet. Your Honor. Just to be with my husband. M M Mr. Darby, she's saying you got the E disease, that you're she all sucked in to, to electronics and you're failing to live your real life. What is your response to that clingy, allegation? She's very clingy, Your Honor. Very clingy. Whenever we're in the house together, that's all she wants to do is be stuck up under me. I don't need to be up under her all day, every day. Now, I need time to myself. When you mean stuck, well, aren't you home all day? All day. No. All day. No, I'm not. What do you do during the day? I work now. Oh, you work yes, now? Yes, ma'am. But back then you didn't have a job, Brian. You weren't okay. working. Didn't have to have a job at the time. You were home. Okay, then, Mr. Darby, Mr. Darby, Mr. Darby. What kind of quality time, or how much quality time do you think is enough to spend with your wife after after she comes home from work? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh. What's your number? What's your, give I me give some a couple minutes. Hours. Give huh? a couple of hours. You're never giving me give a couple, a couple of hours. Give a couple hours. And in those couple of hours, what do you consider quality time? Well, she likes those uh, girly movies, so I had to sit there and do it on movies, so <laughs> that's plenty of time. Your Honor, She's he very never sit and watch girly movies with me. She's if very I'm watching sensitive. a girly she movie, Mr. Darby drop of a dime. will leave. Now, Dr now, Mrs. Darby, do you call quality time sitting around watching girly movies with yeah, him? Yeah, I like yes. to sit around with Brian because we both like movies and watch the movies together, which we don't really okay, do a lot of. Okay, but we don't need to watch them women flicks where all they do is all she do is cry through movies. Well, I do I had cry to sit there through movies all the time. And I don't need to be with that all day. Because the woman got left by the man, she's cheating on all her with the day. sister well, like all, all day. All day. But I tell you what. Marathons, all day. All day long. Girly they got them on. They got stationed there. Nothing yes, but they guess what? Even they if I do watch stuff. the girly movies, you know, it's still not enough for Brian Darby, because I can lay beside him in the bed neck and watch the girly movie, and he gets sick and tired of it and start playing a laptop, and then we don't even consider of that course. I'm there with my clothes off, and don't you want to touch this? When it's time to touch it, that's when I touch it. I touch it when it's time to touch it. I enjoy my Who sexual time. time. Hang on, hang what? on. I don't know. I enjoy my you sexual say, time. With say, <laughs> when it's you time to touch it, I touch it. When it's time, when when it's time, time to touch it, I touch it. Now, now I'm on a schedule. And then some fool puts me on a schedule. You're on he a sex have, schedule? And so he said when it's time, well, he never gave oh, me a oh. calendar. Well, Mr. Mr. Darby, how often is it time? Well, at one point, it was time all day, every day. Huh. And then it got to a point where we do it once a week. And now? Now it's whatever it happens. Huh. Never. <laughs> so you're not, you, you, you're now, not going to regulate it. Just whenever, no, no, whenever, whenever it happens. Whenever it happens. I mean, but look, Your Honor, there's times where I always told her, when you're ready, you ain't got to wait for me. You go for whatever you know. But you ain't got to wait for me to get If it's a football game, Your Honor, that does not happen. Okay, you he ain't supposed to. He would be like, wait a minute, you see the game is on. You ain't supposed to interrupt that. 
Right. Now, but, but, See, but that's that, why I call that, him that, Mr. Now, Darby. Ms. Darby. Ms. Darby, man's got a point. He watching football. He, let the man watch some football. Exactly. You know, you can do... Oh, you, but you're honest, later. that kind of football never goes away. Okay. Because if it's not on television, it's on the laptop all day long. And when he's not doing that, okay, my mom's giving away a car. I get the car for Brian. Now he's not home being a hermit. He out in the street being a womanizer. Okay. He don't come home. Yeah. He gone. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Darby, Mr. Do, do you get dressed up, get in the car that your wife gave yeah, you, and go, go out to the club, meet women? women? Mrs. Darby, don't at interrupt the time, me. Mr. At the Darby? Time, yes, I did. And were yes, you I doing did. the wrong thing? Yeah, yeah, I did. And how long did you run around doing the wrong thing? Till now. Uh, I did the wrong thing for quite a while. Still? But, Your, your Honor, <laughs> it was a thing where uh, the attention that I was getting then, I didn't get when I was growing up. And uh, Camille and uh, Charlie, we didn't do the right thing all the time. We used to be stuck in a uh, world out there doing drugs and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. But we both got ourselves together. Now I get the attention. Oh, so you cleaned up, got I it together myself now. Up. You look yes. good and I've got the clothes And I cleaned yeah. up and got it so, together. So, so the other women, did you two stay together while you guys got cleaned no. up from your addictions? No, we weren't together and doing none of it. But then once we came back together, she wanted to pick up where we left off from. Did you ever move back in with sure her? Sure I did. Quite a few times. Because I'd have left three or four times since we'd been back together. Now, now why do you leave? There were other women. Oh. Because she had worked my nerve to the point where I couldn't stay there anymore. How does she work your nerve? Is it, is it this? Haven't you seen it already? Well... That's, <laughs> that's what it is. When Divorce Court continues, did Brian cool things off with Charlize for another woman? Can I tell you about the story he told me when he came back? This was clear off the young and the restless. I went to the retreat, and the female that I was seeing before me and you got back together was there. But yes, when I was. saw her at the retreat, I figured I had to give it a try again and put me on the back burner. Are you considering getting married but aren't quite sure your intended is the right one for you? I'll give you my opinion. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court returns with the case of Brian Darby who charges his wife Charlize is a controlling nag. But how far does Brian go to get out from under her regime? Uh, I changed my number because she was calling my girlfriend's number and telling her that I was gonna leave her to come back to her. Then here comes Valentine's Day. Now this is after we done regrouped and regrouped before Christmas. So we had a couple of months in it being together all the time. We close, we tight. He's spending the night like he stayed there. Right. So then Valentine's well, well, Day comes, hang on, hang on. and he says, well, I'm, he's, he's in NAD. So he says, I'm going he's to He's NAD? He's into NA real deep. Oh, oh OK, yes. into NA real deep. He, Got so, it. So whenever they ask to retreat or whatever, he always wants to go. When he leaves, he leaves me a flower and some lingerie, say Beyonce something that didn't even fit me, look like a size two, and I'm in a 16. But anyway, he <laughs> left that. Mm -hmm. And then he and, and, and some candy and some flowers, and he goes away to the retreat. Well, Mr. Bo Mr. Darby didn't see him for two weeks. OK, what's going yeah, on? Did, did you leave to go to an N.A. meeting on Valentine's Day and not come back for two weeks? I went away for a convention on a weekend. And when I came back, I did come back to show, or I talked to her at least. No, you didn't. Well, I don't remember that part. <laughs> but you know, can I tell you about the story? Can I tell you about the story he told me when he came back? What story did he oh tell you God, when he came back? Oh, my God, this was clear off the young and the restless. <laughs> he says, babe, but I couldn't call you because I ain't know how to talk to you. I went to the retreat, and the female that I was seeing before me and you got back together was there. Yes, she I was. I hadn't seen her since me and you had got back together, and I didn't know if she was coming back or not. But when I saw her at the retreat, I figured I had to give it a try again and put me on the back burner. OK. Mr. Darby, did you say that? In other words, yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, but it was the truth. It was true. So at it least you true. were being truthful. It was true. Was, it, mean, a, was it a little part, cold, though? 
want to, to, to say, hey, well, well, I read. Charlize, uh, she's always wanted the truth, so I always try to give her the truth. That's not tr true. Yeah, yeah, That's it is. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Whether, whether, whether. He said in the story he didn't know how to tell me, so he just okay, didn't but I told nothing you. for two whole weeks. But I still told you. you I had to pull it out of you. Either way, it came out. Oh. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Darby, I. I I'm, I'm getting a scene of people moving in and out and back and forth. Constantly. And you say the last time he moved out, he changed his cell number. Oh, so Your you Honor, couldn't get a you hold know, of him. Tell me about that. I had purchased Brian Darby several cell phones because he always liking to upgrade because he want to look good all the time. Okay. You know, he want to be Mr. Cute Brian Darby. So, Your Honor, and I am cute. Yeah, because he always... And then when I buy these cell phones and, and he disappears all the time because, you know, now he's driving and going to clubs. He ain't got time to answer the phone. I go to work, work two... Well, work three jobs. And I come home, either he's there playing games still because we still going through that or he's not there at all because he's running the street and he's going to the club. Now he don't want me to go clubbing with him no more. He don't want me to go up and down the street with him more because I'm too touchy-feely. Mr. Darby, why don't you tell me your your vision of what she's talking about? Okay, well, Charlize is controlling. Uh, I changed my number because she was calling my girlfriend's number, calling my phone and calling my girlfriend's phone to but let her... Had to do with your phone. Or to call her and telling her that I was going I was going to leave her to come back to her or I wouldn't go leave my husband alone, all that kind of stuff. That's why I changed my number. That didn't mm -hmm. have nothing to do with her number. I already had a cell phone. She volunteered to buy a cell phone to upgrade for me. Sure, I'm going to take that. You yeah, asked she, for it. She, she got that. But, uh, and we both paid the bill. She didn't pay the bill all the time. We both paid the bill. When Divorce Court continues, Judge Lynn offers a warning for women everywhere. Ladies, did you hear that? Did you hear it? Listen to it. Receive it. Yeah. Feel it. This it is what some guys do. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Charlize Darby, who claims she's putting an end to her husband using her for money. But Brian has a backup plan. Well, Your Honor, I'm good at what I do. Mm -hmm. And when I have did it, I have did it very well, evidently. <laughs> so, uh, I get things. When is it gonna be enough? It is enough. He, I, mean, he, I mean, he's told you in no uncertain terms he don't want to be with you anymore. And, and you need true. to hear that. And I hear it, Your Honor. I hear it. Now, Mr. Darby, let me ask you something. I mean, you seem like... I mean, I, a guy that's had a rough past, you had a rough past. Here you are. You've kind of, kind of, sort of gotten back with your wife. And you're asking her to give you things, and she's giving you things, and you're, and, and you're taking them. You know she wants you back, but you're taking the stuff she gives you, and you're walking off with other women. Don't you feel that's kind of hurtful and, and, and a little degrading, humiliating, and wrong? Yeah. I mean, I got a conscience. <laughs> I, I, but I it doesn't it. stop you. No, it don't stop me. <laughs> but... Ms. Okay, Mr. Stop. Darby, let me ask you this. Do you find it easy to get women to finance your lifestyle? Is, is that easy for you? No, it's not. Not is... easy at all. But you do do it. Yeah, I do do it. Yeah. But... <laughs> Mr. Uh... Mr. Hang on. It's not easy. So it's difficult to get women to give you money, or is it just a lot of work because you gotta say you gotta say you like them when you really don't, or is it a lot of well, uh, attention that you did have come to come into pay? play? Sometimes that came into play like that. Mm -hmm. uh, just to be. Well, a how do you work a woman? I mean, how do you get her <laughs> to give you money? Well, y'all, I'm good at what I do. <laughs> when 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 she talk about the sex thing, me and her not having it. Well, I have had it with other people, mm -hmm. other women. Mm -hmm. And when I have did it, I have did it very well, evidently. <laughs> so, uh, I get things. Really? I, I don't ask them for anything, but they give it to me. They offer it. When my car broke down, I didn't ask that woman for her car. She offered to give me her car, and she caught the bus to work. Huh. Now, now, let me ask you. Is it just the sex, 
or is it a sex and a maybe? Like, you, you, you have sex you with to, them. Get, well, you got to give them maybe. And you, and you say, you know, <laughs> you got to give them maybe. here it is, you might be able to keep it. Yeah. So they give you money in, ho in hopes of reeling you in. You got right? to give them maybe. Ladies, did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear it? Listen to it. Receive it. Yeah. Feel it. This is don't... what some guys do. Don't be on that kind of hook. A little bit of good sex, and, and, and you go crazy. Don't let that happen. You know, eh, no matter how good the sex is, if it's mine ain't right, right. Know. when his feet hit the floor, show him the door. Okay. And that's what I did, Your Honor. That's what I did. This last time, I put him out. When Divorce Court continues, is this a trick question? Mr. Darby, you know what they call people who sex for money? Yeah. Divorce Court returns with the case of Charlize and Brian Darby, who, after 20 years of marriage, have decided they've come to the end of their road as husband and wife. You still love him, don't you? Yes, I love is. him, but I'm done. I so help so. me, I am done. I am done. Mr. Darby is not only a trip, he's a journey. I've been on it, <laughs> and I'm off it. <laughs> I am off the journey. I have made it around the world two, three, four, five times with Mr. Darby, and I'm at my end. Mm. My feet is planted. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Darby changed his cell phone number because that's the best thing he ever did for me. He gave me time to get off of it. Get all journey. off of it. That's and I'm wonderful. Off it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Now, Mrs. Darby, why don't you tell me why you believe I should award you $369 from Mr. Darby? For a cell phone? And mainly because when he left this last time, I wasn't able to get back up in his clutches because he changed the number on the phone. And I purchased them, and I paid three phone bills. I know at least that, if not more. But I'm just asking for three and the cell phone. And then I'm also asking for a U-Haul because he left me one, two, three times, and then all of a sudden he want to come back home. I pay for the U-Haul to bring him back. He don't last a year, okay. and he gone again okay. to the same woman. I, and, and I'm not quite sure what you're telling me about the cell phones. Are you currently paying his cell phone bill? Not anymore. No. But you had been, you bought him the phone. Right. And you paid the bill for a few, for Three months. Three years ago, yes. Your Honor. Okay. Three years ago. Three years ago. Mr. Darby, <laughs> is that your response? Yeah. Yeah, three years ago. She bought the cell phone. She, she bought the cell phone because she wanted to upgrade it. But she offered to give me the U-Haul so I can come back to her. Your okay. Honor, the man left with some dresses, some speakers. He had chairs. He had stereo equipment with stereo cabinets. This man has more enough clothes to, 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 to fill up three bedrooms. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I, 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 I get it. I get it. I understand, I, understand, I understand what happened. I understand exactly what happened. I'm going I'm, I'm to say something to you. I'm going to say something to you. Mr. Darby, you know what they call people who sex for money? Yeah. I've been called that before. Yeah. Do, well, don't be one. You know what I mean? Don't be one. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Darby, you've learned your lesson. It was yes, a hard, long lesson, and it was a hard, long road. He's never going to do right by you. Don't ever give him another dime. Don't do anything. You did all this stuff for him because you wanted to keep him, just like all the other women are doing for him. I can't give it back because you were putting in an investment on a maybe. You could maybe yeah. get him back. You were trying to get a little bit of money here. Any money, anybody that you can get to come over for $369 is worth exactly that. <laughs> there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Charlize says she has no intention of going back to Brian and is waiting for their divorce to be finalized. She has taken to heart Judge Lynn's advice to stay away from men like Brian. Brian says he had a new girlfriend before coming to court and is working on being a better man for her. He and Charlize are cordial when they speak, but their conversations are short and infrequent, which suits them both. <laughs>